Hello, future students of McKinney Boyd High School. We are the Pre-AP Pre-Cal team, and we want to talk to you about the purpose of Pre-AP Pre-Cal at McKinney Boyd High School. In our class, our main goal is to prepare you for AP Calculus, either the Calculus AB or the Calculus BC course. And so the question often asked is, which course coming out of Algebra 2, which is the prerequisite for Pre-AP Pre-Cal or CP Pre-Cal, which course should I take? Well, if you know that you are going to be going into a liberal arts or a non-technical career, then you probably want to go the college math route. But if you are interested in a science career or engineering or business or medicine, we strongly recommend that you take pre-cal here at McKinney Boyd. We want each student and parent to be well informed as to what will be expected of them in pre-cal at McKinney Boyd High School. Each student can expect approximately 45 minutes of homework per night. Secondly, we do emphasize and use the flipped classroom model which would require students to watch videos of the teacher's lectures outside of the classroom. Thirdly, each student needs to be resourceful. We provide many links to helpful videos and websites where the student can do their own learning and each student will have to be able to teach themselves a certain portion of the course. Number four, each student should be self-motivated. Pre-Cal is a very difficult course and we want each student to be motivated to do their best. Number five, Pre-Cal is a course that focuses on higher order thinking questions. It is not a course that students will simply be able to memorize how to do certain problems. Our goal is to help the students apply the basic skills that they've been taught in all their previous math courses to problems that they've never seen before. Number six, we restrict the use of the calculator. We believe that there is a purpose and use for the calculator, but we also expect each student to have the basic skills and to be able to do a large percentage of this course without the use of a calculator. Finally, number seven, all of our assessments are primarily free response questions as opposed to multiple choice questions or true or false questions. That means the student will have to understand the material well enough so that they will not be able to guess simply and get the answer. The reason for this is because we are trying to ultimately prepare the students to be successful on their AP calculus exam.